everyone i know it's been a while since i did a video and i know that i'm probably looking funny right now but i promise you when it's all said and done i'll be a little cuter i am doing my first flat twist out today and i don't know how it's gonna turn out but i know it has to as long as i secure all the ends and get enough product on there and allow it to dry completely i know it'll turn out at least halfway decent so i did this part i have four here three here three there and um this is in a ponytail and i'm about to do this section in the back i didn't really part it or anything you see the cricket parts um no fancy way but i am using if you've seen any of my videos you'll see that i like to mix products and you've probably seen this one on one of my video but this is my twist out videos and i have lots of ingredients other hair products mixed in here i have everything from fresh aloe vera straight off of the aloe vera leaf i have some lottie body products what is that one it's the i don't have a, a bottle an empty bottle because i mix so many things but it's the lot of body and it's the honey i want to say elongate me curl defining custard or or cream or something like that and i just have i have pink oil moisturizer b and b oil moisturizer castor oil olive oil peppermint oil i have so many things mixed in this and this is what it looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the flat twist in the back and i'm gonna um allow it to dry and let you see all the shine that's in there and then i'll take them out and reveal what's behind this flat twist out for the first time we are all flat twisted up and i'm excited about seeing these results it has product in it now but when it dry it's going to be super shiny and super soft i can't really show you the back because my camera i need a new camera and i'm actually holding this one in my hand but let me see if i can turn back there some and let you see But I'll be back soon. Also, guys, really quickly before I dry and come back, I wanted to let you all know that I really love wearing my hair in an afro. So I'm not, that's what I'm trying to achieve. That's why I didn't have like a side part or anything. Uh, um, when I twist my hair out, I always pick it and shape it into my afro. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here as well. And I have a thing for eyebrows. I'm always making sure that my eyebrows are uh, comb brushed over straight. They are all dry and I'm ready to take them out. I slept on them so they're kind of sticking up and kind of dried up, drawed up. Can you see? see how soft they are they're not hard at all I'm trying to see if you can see the grease on my hand from just touching them the shiny but i'm gonna spray a little bit of shine on and this is a soft shine when i say soft shine it makes your hair shiny and also soft oh i want to show you the back because now I'm not holding holding it in my hand. Mm, that stuff is kind of choking. So this is the back. And it, I don't think you have to be in such a fancy, neat way. I mean, the neater the better. Because I was having my hair dry and I went to the post office this morning. And, um... I don't think they were sticking out like that, but some lady at the post office, she was like, I love your hair. And I was like, oh, thank you. I didn't even realize that it was cute like this. So let's start taking them out and seeing what we get. Okay, so that's what we got so far. So I'll go ahead and take these loose and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is how it looks after I've just 
taken out all of the um the flat twist before I did anything. And this is the back. Now I could try to like, you know, shape this all some type of way, have a part over here and shape this. But that's not what I want to do. I just want to shape mine into an afro. I want to make sure that I close this part here and just shape it into an afro and let my so basically I'm let my curls fall where they may. I'm just going to finger manipulate it. This is how I do my hair when I don't have any um, twist out. I always just kind of use my hands. I'm wondering if I need to get a little bit of water and um, I don't want to pick it out, but I want to pick it into shape. And I noticed that when I do a twist out, just a regular twist out, as the days go on, my hair, it looks better and better each day for whatever the reason. I know it might seem like I'm picking out all the curls, and I might be, but that's okay. Because if I didn't do this... I wouldn't have this many curls. And like I say, as the day go the days go on, my curls, they just seem to be more getting get more defined. So I'm gonna like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing around because I'm gonna just spray a mist, a light mist of water. And they're actually forming more and then I can kind of shape. I don't want the video to be real long, but I can see that it's my afro is coming into shape kind of like the way I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of shape it, picking on it to get it in that shape that I want it in without picking it all the way out. Not going all the way to the root. The way my edges or my hairline is, I do this and I do this. I try to do this, but there's like a little, the way it's shaped there. So I have to do like that to close that little area. And let me show you what it's looking like in the back so far. In the top, but I'll be back to... So I'm going to go ahead and continue playing with it and I'll be back for the final look. Okay guys, I think I about, about have it. But this is the look that I like. Now I can get this look sort of kind of from not doing a flat twist just by manipulating. But they're not as defined as these curls are. And like I said, as the days go on, as I spray my either my leave-in... Or just my water mist and manipulate them they just defined even more I was about to show you another product so this is the back so far let me make sure I got this back right I have to figure that out one moment so this is the final result guys what do you think it's nice and soft. No hardness, no stiffness. 
You just play around with different products that work well for your hair. Like this is one of my products I just recently shook up, but you can see it's trying to it's separated and it's now it's trying to form back and separate. You see this little layer of product and then there's another layer and then you can see this layer. Once it's not shook up and it's all settled, that's actually four little layers of product. Sort of like this. You can see an oil layer in that layer and this layer. Let me shake it. I'll be mixing all kind of products together. One of these days, God's willing and I know it is, I will be having a successful product line. I'm not going to have a whole bunch of products, about three good get it done products. Basically a good shampoo, a good conditioner, and um, a twist out cream and just an everyday styling cream. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and have yourself a wonderful day.